Uh, this is the fellas as they uh, encounter actual live gorillas in Rwanda. Look at this, it's beautiful. There they are. So worth the walk and everything. It's just amazing. And she looked round at us, and she was literally four feet away from me. You're looking into the eyes of a wild gorilla, and you have this moment of connection, which is extraordinary. Extraordinary. Wow, that is quite <laughs> Wow, what an experience that really is. That, that alone would be worth making that journey for. And what's so incredible, I think, and you, you've been... Those, there as well. That but, they, but they look so uh, intelligent when you see Gusha. Yeah. They are like... They, they seem to have almost like a human intelligence. Uh, so yeah. do you, what do you think, if they were to see us, I mean, for example, let's have a look in the green room. If we were to see it, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't think they... Uh, actually... <laughs> You see what I was saying about you don't need to go all that way for the experiences. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, Chris um, interviewed us. Yeah. But that's like a, an update, knowing that you were safe as well, as much yeah. as anything. Because uh, how, how much could you communicate with people at home? Were you every day were you in contact with your, with your loved one back mm -hmm. here, or was it a week? Yeah. No, I mean, that's yeah. the thing now about tra travel. You know, gone are the days where you, the adventurers would go off and, and no one would hear from them for months and months. And, you know, maybe they'd get a letter or, the, or the, maybe they'd just come back. But nowadays, you well, know, you've, you've got <laughs> sat phones and you... Yeah. you it, you can never really... Um, but are you envious of that? Do you think, I am a little bit, yeah. Of course, it wasn't just about the experience for you. It wasn't just about the TV show. You're, of course, it's to do with your UNICEF work as yeah, well. Yeah, you visited a number of charities on the way down, mm -hmm. I guess? Yeah. The first one was in Ethiopia. We went right up to the border with Eritrea. And we met a couple of uh, kids in their teens who'd lost limbs to landmines. There's a great deal of mines being laid up there in the conflict between Ethiopia and Eritrea. And um, we met them and, and saw how UNICEF were helping them to, because uh, it's devastating, you know, mines are just horrendous um, things and, and, and injure more children than, en and than any soldier. And uh, so UNICEF are helping them to rehabilitate them, get them back into, uh, our, our kind of try and get them mobile We're using these amazing mobility cycles and try and get them back to school really. Um, that's a remarkable thing you're doing there. I if for, the, for that fact alone you can come back and talk about this and you've seen with, with your own eyes and you can make us well, that's quite some achievement. But over and above that, just the kind of spirit of adventure you have, I, I genuinely admire you for that, I really do. <laughs> uh, I do, I'm joking about it often, but you know, I really think it's a remarkable thing and you have such a great bond and to see such a happy, openly gay couple who have relationships <laughs> and still can travel together yeah. and then come back and then lead their different lives and then go away together. It's a, it's a lovely thing. Um, guys, uh, the series starts, I think it's uh, October the 28th. It's a fabulous, uh, a fabulous adventure you've been on. You have a book out as well, which I've been reading at home and I've been loving it. And it's not just a, not just a great read, there's some fantastic photographs in it as well. Yeah. Um, and so I imagine you're now here for a little bit longer until you, you go off for the next one. Yeah, yeah. We'll, see what, we'll see what the next one How is. How about the long way up? Go all the way up Kilimanjaro. <laughs> What are you laughing at? What's, this, what, what's more ridiculous that than driving it's not all the way far, is it? Is it yeah. not far? No, not really. On a pogo stick, it is. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, hey, how great to see you again. Thank you very much for coming on the Thanks show. For having us uh, ladies and gentlemen, join me in saying thank you to Charlie Borman and Ewan McGregor. <laughs> Thanks, gentlemen. Are you going to stay for the music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we were wondering how it fastens round the end. Sure, you were wondering how it fastens. <laughs> uh, my thanks to all my guests tonight, Charlie Newham and, of course, Chris Moyles and Michelle Pfeiffer. Look at that. Beauty and the Beast. Leave <laughs> <Steve> alone. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, next week, my guests are Hollywood heart of Jake Gyllenhaal, keyboard maestro Jules Holland, and we have Jordan, Katie Price with Peter Andre here. Plus, we'll have great music from Richard Hawley. But now... <laughs> Put the penis extender away. You're like a couple of giggling schoolboys. Well, it's, I think it's been used I a lot more. I think we've got more. the beige one. We've got the desert one. <laughs> <laughs> the camouflage. Yeah. Uh,